Hi there, right, um, quick video of a test book. So this is um, for the Kindle 3G uh, hardware. Um, go to page one. This is created uh, using Manga Studio. So this is bringing in a Zebra Sculpt into uh, Manga Studio as a OBJ file. And then using the, um, the render in Manga Studio to give me the outlines and halftone shading. So the next uh, page we've got here is some sample content from Manga Studio. Uh, using this, uh, this was um, this layout is for A4, um, so it doesn't really work that well for a Kindle because it's sort of hard to read what it is. So I threw the images into a uh, cold draw and then reframed them to be to fit into the 800 by 600 sort of uh, pixel aspect ratio and they all look really sort of crisp and cool now hopefully you can sort of make that out so yeah there's a bit of pan and scan going on but if you're going to make something similar to this you would create it for the Kindle uh, blah blah blah, it's all good stuff, blah 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 so that's all cool and groovy uh, next page so yeah I think um, this sort of line style works exceedingly well for the e-ink looks really good uh, hopefully you can see that. Um, there's my Kindle, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, pretty nifty. And then what we're going to look at in a minute is so just these are just more sample pages from Manga Studio basically. This is all um, half tone output and uh, vector lines. Uh, this is just a render from Studio Max as well, grayscale. Sort of it looks okay. Um, it just doesn't really pop that well on a uh, e-ink page, I don't think. Um, so yeah, so other things to look at, clickety click, uh, let's get that going. So, da, 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 need to find my book, don't I? So this is also on, um, this is on my Android. Da, 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 da. What we're looking at here, trying to find the book. You know what? I've passed it. Bloody hell, where's that gone then? Oh, there we go, to the top, book test three. So, click on that. Sorry for taking so long, I'm a bit of a dipstick. So, yeah, okay, so this is on a Android telephone. This is on a wildfire, so the screen is 320 by 240. But um, hopefully, you can make out that this is actually okay. I can read this. This is absolutely fine, and uh, yeah, all nifty and groovy. So um, then we've got a winner. Really, we uh, we're okay. So these are all images. So this text at the front page is just a picture. Um, they're all good and groovy. I think that looks fine. That's dead readable. Uh, pretty much dead readable. I can double click that and zoom in a little bit. Then if I use my hands sort of here, you can pinch to zoom. Yeah, and we've rotated by accident. How nice is that? So I go back one. There we go. Yeah, no, that's cool. So you'd have to make it so you could read it. And uh, at this res, I've got this set on to. Da -da 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 -da. It's just a smaller one, bit of rubbish telephone, but you get the idea. Uh, yeah, so I think that works. If I go and find the same screen on the other page, that'd be a good idea. So that's just gonna zoom onto my Kindle here. Actually, let's use that one. So let's let's use that one there. Okay, so. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's go and find the same girl picture, which is not there, there, or there. There we go. So, yeah, that is the um, Android telephone, and that is the e ink on the Kindle. Same picture. Um, we're under CFL lighting here, so it's not brilliant. Um, it's just, yeah, as usual, not proper lighting. Um, in the daytime, the Kindle looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, under tacky um, 
energy saving lamps it does look a bit sort of yellowy looking uh, the Android looks really nice it's looking a bit blue on this camera but in with my eyes I think it's okay it's um, quite a nice white but yeah dead um, dead usable dead easy and uh, there you go really simple as that as they say so um, yeah uh, so the output what or the the method for doing this is um, manga studio um, to get your get your uh, images export the images throw that into cold draw uh, make a file whatever size you want it to be I'll make it by um, uh, 4 by 3 so it's 800 by 600 um, pixels and I've sort of scaled up a bit bigger so I've got a bit more resolution on it um, throw the images into that turn it into a PDF export the PDF take that into Moby Pocket Moby Pocket creates a um, Amazon Kindle formatted book um, throw it into your Kindle or your Android and you've got yourself an Android book how cool is that? pretty simple really um, these particular books are picture books so there's no live text in it uh, it means you um, can control the flow of the pages completely because there's no live text that can be resized because uh, all images are in line I've made the images the same size as the screen or basically the same aspect ratio as the screen so there's no uh, there's not two images going to get butted up next to each other and uh, there you go really without having the um, live text that doesn't mean you can't enable um, the Kindle hardware to read the story to you because it's just images uh, there is no live text but there you go um, as uh, as regards something like the Kindle Fire um, not sure if they're going to change the format a little bit on that for uh, children's books we'll see when it comes out um, yeah and that sort of does that so with that um, see you another day enjoy see ya bye